Hello friends. In this lesson we are going to learn how to calculate compound interest. Let's revise what is the difference between simple interest and compound interest before we come to the formula for compound interest. In case of simple interest, the formula is PRT by 100 and the key point to remember is the principal remains the same for every year. That is what we have seen in our last lesson. If you have 10,000 rupees as a deposit at 10% per annum with simple interest you are going to get 1,000 rupees in one year, 1,000 second year and so forth. So at, at the end of five years you are going to get 5,000 rupees. So principal remains the same in case of simple interest for every year hence the interest remains the same for every year. Right? So after five years for 10,000 into five, 5,000 rupees you get. And how is it calculated? Assuming principal is P, rate of interest is R, time is T, simple interest is abbreviation is SI and amount is A. SI that is simple interest equal to principal into rate into time by 100 or amount is equal to principal plus simple interest which is principal plus PRT by 100. So for this problem 10,000, 10% 5 years it will be 10,000 into 10 into 5 by 100 which is 5000 rupees. Our table also gave us the same value. There we calculated the interest for each year and then we added it up or we put it in the formula for five years we get the same value 5000. So the total amount is 10,000 which was the principal and 5000 is the simple interest which is 15,000 rupees. And what did we learn in about compound interest? The difference is principal remains the same, rate of interest may be same 10% per annum time is also same but the interest is gets compounded every year what does it mean that you calculate the interest for say uh, one year and that interest gets added to the principal for the next year so let's try to calculate at the start of year one what will be the principal is 10,000 rupees so the simple interest earned during the year would be 10,000 into 10 into 1 which is 1,000 rupees and that 1,000 gets added for the start of year 2. So during year 2 the interest would become 10,000 which was the principal plus 1,000 is the interest for the previous year. So 11,000 becomes a principal for the start of year 2 and then for the year 2 the simple interest becomes 11,000 into 10 into 1 by 100 which is 1100. So year on 1 the interest earned was 1000 rupees and year 2 the interest earned was 1100 rupees. Why did it increase? Because the principal increased and principal increased because the principal is added with the initial principal plus the interest for the previous year. What will be the situation on the year 3? The previous principal for year 2 was 11,000 rupees 10,000 plus 1000 and 1100 you earned extra in that year. So 11,000 plus 1100 becomes 12,100 rupees becomes the principal for year 3. And the interest for year 3 will be 12,100 into 10% into 1 year by 100 which is 1,210 rupees and so on. So every year the principal keeps increasing because you add the interest for the previous year into the principal and hence the interest also keeps increasing year on year your interest keeps on increasing. This is the table we derived last time 10,000 is which we started for the first year the interest is 1000 rupees using the simple interest formula but for year 2 the principal is increased to 11,000 10,000 plus interest for the year 1 and then you calculate again the simple interest formula for 11,000 into 10 percent into 1 you get 1100 rupees at the end of year 2 which you plow back or to the principal and the principal for year 3 becomes 12,100. 11,000 plus the interest for that year is 1100 becomes 12,100. Now for the third year 12,100 is deposited and 12,100 into 10 into 1 by 100 gives you 1,210 rupees as the interest and so on. 1,210 gets added to the year 4 principal so year 4 principal becomes 12,100 which was the year 3 principal plus 1210 earned during year 3 so it becomes 13,000 
310. Then you earn this much in year 4 and so on. So interest earned in a given interval is added to the principal for the next year for the calculation of the interest. And that is the reason the principal keeps increasing every year. You can see it's not 10,000 only. In case of compound interest, the principal for each year keeps increasing automatically and hence the interest keeps increasing. And how is the compound interest calculated? The formula is amount which the final value of the amount is equal to principal into bracket 1 plus rate of interest by 100 into time the duration for the loan or the deposit rate of interest principal is the amount not the interest interest can be calculated easily by getting this amount and then subtracting principal from it you are going to get the compound interest value let's take an example 10,000 rupees, 10% 10 per annum for 5 years. Using this, you are going to get this amount finally. 10,000 principal multiplied by 1 plus rate by 100 into duration. Ensure these two things are in same things. Per annum means on a yearly basis. Time is also for 5 years. So replacing this thing by 10,000 as the principal. 1 plus rate is 10% 10 and 10 by 100 and 5 is it years you are going to get 10,000 into 10 by 100 is 0.1 bracket 5 the, the exponent is 5 which becomes 10,000 into 1 plus 0.1 is 1.1 5 times becomes 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 into 1.1 into 1 .1. and when you multiply it you are going to get 16,105 rupees so in simple interest case you are getting 15,000 rupees back in case of compound interest you are getting 16,100 rupees back extra because every year principal got increased and hence the interest also got increased hence the total interest becomes 6,105 rupees instead of if you calculate the same thing using simple interest you got 5,000 rupees extra. So in a nutshell simple interest principal remains same every year. The formula is amount is equal to principal plus simple interest and simple interest formula is PRT by 100 principal into rate into time by 100. In case of compound interest the principal is added with interest for the previous year hence the total interest is more than the simple interest what we saw in the example for the same rate of interest same duration same principal you got more money in case of compound interest compared to simple interest because the interest for the second year was added to the principal and then that becomes an increased principal for the second year. And the formula for the amount is P into 1 plus R by 100 entire bracket in the T is the duration. That's all in this lesson children. Bye bye.